Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I wanted to mention a video I watched by Narc Con and I would recommend her channel. I'm going to link the video that I'm referring here to below and she talked about the energy and I talked about this in the past but it's a good reminder that I mean energy when we talk about emotional vampires we talk about people that are extracting your energy right when you're in contact with them you feel depleted afterwards you feel like there's no more energy and so that's one thing that i wanted to mention right remember to take care of your energy to to always come back to yourself go back to you and and protect that energy it's something that you can you know you can totally um, manage i think and if you decide you know i need to stay away from people that are emotional vampires then you will you will find that you will have a lot more energy and so i will link that video below and i think it's very interesting how energy that's for people that you know that's something that it's there if you've been in a, in a relationship or you have somebody near to you that is an emotional vampire or a narcissistic person you will feel this you will know what i'm talking about it's as if you lose it's as if you're tired depleted after the interaction with a person like this so it's so important to to remember that right and then what i want to add here is to, to connect to your your soul your energy whatever you want to call it your spiritual part in my case i was <laughs> brought up christian um, i had the experience of going to school bilingual school that was evangelist and then later on i went to a catholic school and so my family were you know we're descendants from italian people and spanish people they're all catholic so argentina is very catholic actually the Pope is Argentinian, so, you know, um, so yeah, that's the thing here. And of course I have my beliefs and I believe in Jesus and I think that's, but I'm not religious, you know, like, you know, I'm the worst Catholic ever, but I do believe and I, because I believe it's inside of you and whatever is your religion, it doesn't matter. You know, that's, it's important to connect with your own spiritual being because i think it's inside of you and that's what we're protecting right that's why your soul is exhausted after being with a narcissistic person because it's like it's actually they're extracting your soul your energy everything that's how it feels so it's very important to protect your energy for that reason and the other reason that i i wouldn't encourage you to connect spiritually with whatever is your belief you know um it's very important to connect with that because at the end of the day i think it's the same thing you know we're all connecting to within within us is the rest of the universe so that's how if we meditate we connect with the universe if if we pray we connect with the universe with something somebody greater than us and um and at the end of the day, whatever you believe is through your experiences. I believe in what I believe because throughout my life, I've had proof, you know. So I, I was able to, to scientifically <laughs> prove that there's, uh, in my case, I believe in Jesus, for example. But that doesn't mean that you have to do the same, you know, your life could you know it could manifest in so many different ways and i think that's great you know and as as long as we connect with ourselves inside of us your spiritual part is it's essential for recovery and for feeling better so that's my point here you know one of the most important things you can do is connect with yourself through meditation through yoga which i do always i meditate as well I pray, I, I do everything. <laughs>